Sexual violence affects hundreds of thousands of people each year. After an assault, survivors may reach out for help, and when they do, they may be advised to have a medical forensic exam. This exam addresses the survivor's health and psychological needs and allows for the collection of forensic evidence from an assault in the hope that the perpetrator will be brought to justice. Evidence from the medical forensic exam is retained in a sexual assault kit, also known by its acronym, SAC. As part of the criminal investigation process, a SAC should be submitted to a crime laboratory for testing. However, over decades and for a number of reasons, many SACs were never submitted for testing. In fact, surveys suggest there may be hundreds of thousands of unsubmitted SACs in evidence rooms throughout the United States. These SACs may contain probative forensic evidence that could assist investigators in working to solve sexual assault cases. The Bureau of Justice Assistance has funded the National Sexual Assault Kit Initiative, or SACI, to assist agencies with addressing their unsubmitted SACs. SACI helps agencies and jurisdictions inventory and test unsubmitted SACs, improve survivor notification and engagement through the execution of a trauma-informed approach, upload eligible DNA profiles to the Combined DNA Index System, or CODIS, and investigate and prosecute cases to the fullest extent possible to hold perpetrators accountable, prevent further crimes and victimization, and bring justice to survivors. SACI also helps agencies develop a multidisciplinary team approach to sexual assault crimes to strengthen communication among agencies, improve the response to sexual assault cases, and advance assistance to sexual assault survivors. By providing resources to support survivors, reduce the number of unsubmitted SACs, and prosecute sexual assault crimes, SACI sends a message that the criminal justice system cares about these cases. Most sexual assault survivors consent to a medical forensic exam with the belief that their SAC will be tested. At that moment, survivors put their faith in the criminal justice system to proceed with their case. When a SAC is not submitted for testing, it can have devastating consequences on the survivors and their trust in the criminal justice system. For many survivors, the process of receiving justice and how they are treated along the way can be just as important as the case outcome. The kit collection is so invasive and the thought that that these kits would just sit on shelves uh, and discarded almost uh, really I think said a lot to me it resonated with how it would make a victim feel and they've already victims have already been victimized you know they get victimized multitude of times throughout the system and this was one more time and so it really became important to me and it's and it's really about showing our community and and uh, our victims that what they went through truly does matter. Testing SACs demonstrates to survivors that the criminal justice system acknowledges that sexual assault is a violent crime and that these cases matter. This can be an important first step in facilitating the healing process. I can only imagine how difficult it must be to see these cases and, 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 and so much work to be done. So I think it's, it's important to let law enforcement officials know how much we appreciate everything we, that they do I, you know as as a survivor I I wouldn't be able to sit here and have this conversation if it weren't for the amazing work uh, that law enforcement did for me. Saki recommends that the multidisciplinary team create a trauma-informed policy for communicating with survivors. This policy is critical for notifying survivors of SAC testing in a manner that prevents re-traumatization and promotes survivor justice. With the SACI initiative, we are able to have the investigators work with the prosecutors, work with the advocates as a collaborative team, um, and debunking the myths of law enforcement not getting along with advocates or advocates not getting along with prosecutors. We're one big team, um, and I think that's very important for victims to know that they are believed, that they can trust us, and that although they may have had a bad experience in the past, we're moving forward and we're trying to get justice for them now. Community trust in the criminal justice system is the cornerstone of the system's success. Unfortunately, the accumulation of unsubmitted SACs may affect the public's confidence that law enforcement will take these cases seriously. Through SACI, 
the criminal justice system communicates to communities and individuals that sexual assault survivors have not been forgotten and that the agencies are taking ownership of and are committed to addressing both cold and current sexual assault cases. Saki also provides an opportunity for the criminal justice system to review internally how it responds to sexual assaults. By enacting policies that accurately track, inventory, and submit sexual assault evidence, provide a clear understanding of the value of the evidence, strengthen the post-assault services provided to survivors, and leverage a successful multidisciplinary team, the future accumulation of unsubmitted SACs can be prevented. Implementing and strengthening these policies helps the criminal justice system meet communities' core values and expectations. These efforts may enhance agencies' relationships with the people they serve and empower survivors to engage with the criminal justice system in the future. Saki also provides the criminal justice system with an opportunity to improve crime prevention and public safety. When combined with targeted investigation practices focused on moving cases forward, the testing of unsubmitted SACs may enable the criminal justice system to identify suspects, link sexual assault cases to other cases, and prosecute offenders. This leads to improved criminal justice outcomes and safer communities. The effectiveness of linking tested SACs to other crimes was demonstrated by the Detroit Sexual Assault Kit Action Research Project, which was funded by the National Institute of Justice. The project tested a sample of 900 previously unsubmitted SACs from Detroit, Michigan. The researchers focused on the link between SAC testing and the identification of other sexual assault crimes or serial sexual assault offenders. The project addressed how many SACs yielded DNA profiles eligible for upload into CODIS, how many resulted in a DNA match or hit, and how many of the CODIS hits were associated with other sexual assault crimes, including serial sexual assaults. Overall, the 900 tested SACs resulted in 259 CODIS hits, 69 of which had DNA matches to another sexual assault case. This project proves that DNA forensic evidence tested from SACs helps solve crimes. It also reiterates the importance of testing SACs so that CODIS can be used to its full potential by police and prosecutors. Beyond SAC testing, SACI assists the criminal justice system with guidance and training on investigative and prosecutorial techniques for cold case sexual assault, including methods for witness preparation and questioning and effective ways to present sexual assault evidence at trial. Criminal justice agencies must collaborate and have open and transparent cross-agency communication to address the complexity of cold case sexual assaults. Recognizing this need for collaboration, a key focus of SACI is assisting the criminal justice system in establishing and sustaining a multidisciplinary team approach to resolving cold case sexual assaults and enacting successful sexual assault reform. A multidisciplinary team should include representatives from key areas, such as law enforcement, forensic medical practitioners, crime laboratory personnel, community-based victim advocates, system-based victim advocates, sexual assault nurse examiners, and prosecutors. Successful teams promote sustainable practices that advance survivor healing. They also engage in broad-based collaboration and evidence-based strategies to address cold case sexual assaults. Working as part of a multidisciplinary team requires a fundamental understanding of individual stakeholder and agency roles and responsibilities. Because terms, objectives, and outcomes can be identified differently in various agencies, the team must also derive strategies for removing communication barriers. When executed with a focus on listening and engaging, multidisciplinary team members who work cold case sexual assaults can provide support and information to each other and the survivor. These teams can also draw on the specific knowledge of each member to derive policies and practices that promote survivor healing and just resolution to these cases. Every year, a vast majority of sexual assaults go unreported to the police, and some survivors may never reveal their victimization to anyone. While no one can undo the suffering and anguish endured by these individuals, 
The goals and efforts of Saki are focused on providing survivors with the justice and respect they deserve. Saki is setting new standards for addressing sexual assault. Saki funding not only helps link survivors to advocates and needed services, it also trains agencies in implementing best practices and comprehensive reform to bring perpetrators to justice and increase safety in communities. The Saki Training and Technical Assistance, or TTA, program offers jurisdictions education and assistance in establishing practices for collecting and processing forensic evidence, investigating and prosecuting sexual assault cases based on evidence from previously unsubmitted SACs, and supporting survivors of sexual assault. This Saki Foundations video is part of Saki Virtual Academy. It has been developed by the Saki TTA program to provide foundational information on key considerations and recommended practices related to evidence collection, investigation, prosecution, and the provision of trauma-informed care related to sexual assault. For more information on the Saki Virtual Academy and other training and resources for Saki can be accessed at sakitta.org.